This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greetings and salutation, viewers. Valdemar right back here with another episode of Middle-Earth Shadow Mordor. In the last episode, we collected some artifacts and elven runes. We also uh, c we also got a orc, like I guess lay about, called Ratbag and promoted him. Hopefully, uh, his influence in the ranks will at least give us a... Uh, oh, whoops. Uh, <laughs> I was hoping to start the episode with that. Issue. Oh, what? Wait, what? I really? I didn't really want to start an episode with a uh, with a captain on my hands, but whatever. I'll we'll just take care of him really quickly because he's a little bitch. Uh, okay, he is. He let me kill him with just a standard ground ground strike. Uh, whatever, that's fine. Anyway, Rat Bag is now our like man on the inside. For how long we know perfectly well it won't last forever, but for now we'll take advantage of it. But anyway, grab this uh, item here. I was gonna do some power up. Uh, missions off screen, but I thought, you know what, I'll show at least one of them on screen. Probably not today, but I'm going to show them. But anyway, Rangers Reading Primer. The Rangers of Gondor are not just powerful warriors. They also perform a host of duties throughout the kingdom. Depending on the circumstances, a Ranger may be called upon to serve as a mediator, a judge, a medic, and on occasions even a teacher. Rangers have been known to carry basic reading primers and during their stays in the villages where opportunities for learning are scarce or scant. To select a few favored pupils and show them how to read and write. All right, let's see. Oh, hello. Uh, get back there. Get, uh, nope, nope, come on. We had you. We had you for the second. There you go. Sound it out now. Fear no. Fear no. Why must you put me through this, Hergon? There's no one to blame but yourself. You begged me to teach you the words in my books. I regret that now. What use is the page here in Mordor? Here, look at this. A note for you. My love. Be my knife. Try again. Knife? Or wife. Wife? Yes, Hyrgon. I am yours. It looks like they've had some small stories, like, because I think we also grabbed another item that mentioned Hirgon and that lady. And I think the Hirgon in this is voiced by Travis Willingham. At least it sounds like his voice. He's done, like, anime and other stuff, and he's also on Critical Role on Geek and Sundry's Twitch channel. I'm not promoting it, I'm just, that's just one of those things I remember off the top of my head. If you like, actually, if you like D&D, &D, it's actually kind of entertaining to watch. We've given the Outcast a chance to escape Mordor to reach the safety of Gondor. And we can draw the eye of our enemy. As long as we can hold his gaze, we can buy time for Middle-earth. Yep, and blow up some, uh... I don't need to do that. I just do it for fun. And it gives me experience. Just to, to unlock some abilities. I, uh, with doing that one mission, I unlocked quite a few new abilities. The ability to get extra damage with sword strikes, brutalized kills, Draining uh, Urux for, uh, I guess, either health or arrows, one of the two. So, a few abilities I'll try to show them on screen if I can. Uh, anyway, we're going to grab another uh, rune. I'm going to try to grab a couple. I I think my plan is to try and collect a couple of collectibles each episode. And then, um, uh, and then do a mission if I can quick enough. Most of the missions don't take that long, so... Okay, where, where is it? It's around... Ah, here we go. Nani here, Galar Mordor. Oh, he just says something about Mordor every time, so it's... Uh, anyway, Iwarth Dengarnin, I think. I think I'm getting close to figuring out what they're actually saying on the... Alright, let's grab this artifact, and we're basically gonna go to here. That's pretty much my plan, and that one is a golem, uh, golem mission. Looks like right now there's the Golem mission, Ratbag mission, and the Slaves mission. So, sa saving Just the Slaves and all that. So. We're gonna be getting Stop orders down. to join up with the other horde nearby. Not if they figure out how to deal with their growth. Yeah, let's kill that guy. I hate, I hate archers. They're my arch nemeses. They deserve nothing but the most uh, contempt and scorn. It says hi. Well, nothing. We're dead now. Ah, oh, what the benefits of a... Uh... One of the benefits of upgrading all your abilities is like your focus with your money is your focus is improved. 
Okay, where are you? Okay, change. There we go. Yeah, sure, whatever. I'm afraid to face you. Whatever. Rangers Cloak Clasp. These decorative metal bands were used by rangers prim primarily to keep their cloaks closed. As guardsmen of Gondor, rangers were held in ex ex exacting standards by their masters, and this meant keeping their clasps polished. Rangers would use the clasps as makeshift signal devices, catching sunlight to create reflective flashes to communicate with their comrades over long distances. Ah, there we go. The towers will be up soon. Don't know why we're calling them the teeth. Be called the charm. Yeah. Because they'll be hitting us there. Indeed. Right in the jaw and as often as they can. That's a grim outlook, brother. You'll be able to see into Mordor here and bite if necessary. I've heard that voice actor before who's done like anime and stuff like that, but I don't remember his name off the top of my head. I don't remember all voice actors. I try to, just for the respective purposes, but uh uh, but yeah, I've heard that guy before. I just can't recall his name off the top of my head. He usually plays minor characters in most animes, if I remember correctly. Dear Hyo was about to take the oath to become a ranger. He did not deserve such an evil end. Nope, did not. But not much we can do about that. All right, let's uh, let's go try to find Gollum again and see if we can find out more about the Wraith's past. Shattered memories. This creature Gollum is drawn to the Wraith. Who he calls the Bright Master. Your fate seems bound to his. Apparently a lot of people seem bound to Gollum's fate. Sweet little Ratsis. Where does he die? Desecrate one more body and your corpse will join them. Ah, Gollum episode, or missions, the treasure hunting quests of the game. Why not? I mean, basically main missions are supposed to either teach you new new uh, abilities or they're not teach you, but to make you certain abilities. To the treasures we go. Last we sneak here, no orcs. Is. They spread like poison. Game over slow, fly fast. Like I guess we're just gonna wait for him to move when he moves. So, sorry, slaves, you're in the wrong, the wrong missions. We're not saving you today. We're, we only do this in the outcast missions. Come on, Gollum. Are you ready to go yet? He's probably just waiting for the leaves. Oh, there you go. Yeah, sorry, you guys are gonna help. Oh. oh, here we go. The master takes us to the precious. We show him, we show him, and he rewards us. With what? The bright master is dead. Sorry, I was like getting in the mood of sneaking, so I wasn't paying attention. So I wasn't paying attention to my talking. So. The dude. The royal one smells sweet like flapping fishes. 
that filthy Trixie Ranger comes along. Crawdy Ranger, smiley stinky Ranger, he hurts us, he steals from us like Bargainses. Bargainses! As a reference to The Hobbit with Bilbo Baggins. He hasn't met Frodo yet, he'll at least. He'll show us, then he'll take it. He'll show us, then he steals it. No, no. We'll take it from him. We'll take it from our sharpest of sharpsies. <laughs> but well, we know that Gaul can't be trusted. No hurting. Gentle sharpsies shows us. Bright Master. Here goes. We wait here for you. For what? Oh, okay, fine. We'll do it. Alright, let's use our Wraith Vision. Wraith Vision activated! Use the power of ancient elven creatures? Your we know he's elven, by the way. Oh. Danger. Knowledge of my past is worth any trial. But anyway, we know he's Elven, because you can tell by his outfit and, and other such things, so. Apparently we hear noises while we're... Oh, here we go. What treasure we find today, shall we? What new memory? Is so fine a gift. What a gift. But where is the place? Little thief! Come here! Release him. Release him. Do we chase these dreams? They offer no answers, only more questions! These are not mere dreams. With each vision, my power grows stronger. Looks like we got so looks like we got a new creature to fight. Oh boy. Thanks, Gollum. At least you were warned us before we go. Oh, ghouls, good. Oh, yeah, ah, that's it. Right. Oh, we have a new uh, thing now. Oh gods, there's a lot of them. Holy shit. <laughs> Wraith Flash. Unleash a powerful flash of light which damages and stuns Uruks and kills ghouls. When your sword streak is charged. Press X and A to use Wraith Flash. Hit streaks charge every eight consecutive hits. Gets the hit streak. Okay. Nice. Ah. Whew. Hopefully they're not doing too much damage to me. Ah. Do your ability, dude. We're gonna die. We are going to die. Ooh. At least we got a mission out of it, a new challenge out of it, so. More bats again? Kill three bats. Okay, Th kill three bats three times? Oh. Man, how many more of these are there? Are there? Yeesh. I mean, I guess I could technically run for these guys. Got 
got rid of us then. Yeah, I know I killed my kill streak pretty easily, but eh, whatever. I wasn't gonna get a hundred. That halfling that point, anyway. golem will betray us to the black hand the first chance he gets. He has no love for the Dark Lord. That creature has a part to play in the fate of all Middle Earth. I can feel it. Yeah, it looks like we have to kill bats again, so if we wanted to... I'll do that off-screen, but like I said, getting bats is mainly caves, and like I said, around here are quite a few caves, so that'd probably be the best place to go. We could do more golem quests. Um, since we've got a few moments, let's go ahead and grab a couple more items before we... Uh, before, oh, I could have gotten an out, uh, outcast quest unlocked. Yeah, I'll do that off screen. Those aren't. Those are basically just you saving slaves and using. And the bonus objectives usually are you making use of abilities you've learned to, to get the bonus objective to get more money. So, all right, let's grab those before we end the episode because we did. We did. That's pretty much the story thing I wanted to do today. I think next episode I'll do one of those power plays just to kind of show you what it is. For the most part, it's just you killing one of the. Uruk or whatever, so. Anyway. Let's grab this. That was pretty easy. It doesn't. It seems like it doesn't take too long to get through. Uh, through uh, this area. Ooh. Probably collected about half of them. Oh, never mind. Twenty-five percent. All right. Basket fragment. This utterly unremarkable basket has seen better days. Few of any of the outcast possessions have survived. In bygone days, the basket will likely have been carried by a woman on her daily errands and used to carry all manner of goods. Let's see if we can find it. There it is. Stop! Do not move! By order of Gondor, trespassing on the Moranon is punishable by death. Ugh. Do not... Outcasts now send women alone to steal from us. Do your worst, Ranger, but I will fight. You were but skin and bones. I can still fight. Gather what you can and run. Quickly, before the others see you. Should be glad to starve. Quickly now. Go. Go! I bet that's how her her and gone and that one lady met each other. I bet was that she was an outcast and stole food from them. Because I, I assume most collectibles usually have uh, like a string, and then will always have like some connection to one or another. So, but yeah, I bet that's here and gone. These and outcasts how... were strong to last in Mordor to survive this wasteland while we occupied the gate. Yet they are not strong enough to survive the return of the Black Hand. Their only hope lies beyond the Mountains of Shadow. Uh, I would agree. Uh, let's grab this one. Uh, Ariel uh, le, 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 the Leith Girth, I think. I don't. I don't know. Don't ask me to. Man, we still got some time, so uh, let's see if we can grab a couple more. Uh, uh, let's, see, let's see. Are there any any quick quick missions I can items I can grab? Yeah, let's go uh, here really quick. I did. I thought that would take me a few more minutes to uh, to grab those, but. Uh, um, seemed like, like I said, this area isn't that big when you think about it. You can run through the area pretty quickly. Um, and then you can also get the caradors to go by even quicker. But this will save me, this will save me having to, uh, uh, do all this stuff later and prepare for it. So, it means more time doing missions, which means if I get a lot of these done quickly, I can do, uh, multiple main missions in a row if I'm, uh, lucky enough. Alright, let's see. That one seems to be on... Okay, it's... I was like, I was pressing the button, but it wouldn't let me uh, do it for some reason. Weird. All right. Let's see, this one says, uh, Evab Gillibren. Hmm. Okay. We don't need to see what it looks like. I'll just wait for the final... Um, is that a collectible too? Oh, no, that's an outcast. We'll save one of those later. And then if we have a few moments, I might just go ahead and grab that artifact too while we're here. Like I said, less things I have to do later. Alright, let's grab that. And with the ability to, like, um... Um... Uh, not... Well, quick... Quick, uh... Quick travel also helps, but... But, uh... But being able to run pretty quickly, I have a lot of abilities that deal with, uh... Come on, come on. Don't do that. There we go. 
Man, sometimes it takes forever to get to spots just because my, the game won't. Oh, uh, Nan, Nan, Ihir, Lair, Mordor. No, that that wasn't it, was it? Whoops! I pressed a button and I didn't, and I accidentally. Uh, let's just say it's a new one. Maybe I'll just show all of them at once whenever we, we get to that point. All right, let's get that last artifact and we'll call it an episode. Yeah, I probably, I'm probably not the most exciting run of this game. Most people probably just ignore all that collectible stuff to begin with, but I feel like it, it's part of the experience. I hope we get something for getting all those collectibles, and I don't mean... I mean, yeah, we get experience and money for doing it, but I hope we get something more than that. Like, I'm one of those guys that I want to unlock something for doing that, and not even, like, a special quest or item. I usually like unlocking, like, um, like, like, artists, uh, artist details... Jump up there for God's sakes! Anyway, like unlocking artist details or, um, oh, what's the word? There's a couple of, uh, just like hidden stuff that you couldn't do, couldn't get. See there? Okay. I just like unlocking basically, uh, uh, like either commentary stuff, unlocked artist details, you know, sketches behind the scenes stuff. I want that to be unlocked. I hate games that like give me collectibles and don't tell me anything about either the game or the world when I do it. I don't know. I feel like it's a waste. But anyway. Code Entry Journal number one. The skies over Mordor are being cleared by fell beasts, the Hellhawks. Crows such as these, this poor fellow are hunted relentlessly, but not as food. No, crows are hunted because each of the oversized black birds is a potential spy. A messenger might be carrying news to a master outside of Mordor. This crow met its doom, trying to deliver a coded note. Okay, let's see if we can find it. Yeah, gross. Oh, is that it? There it is. Here's what I saw. I told you the orcs are digging everywhere. Well, they've dug huge caves into the ground in the side of the hills and into the mountains where they do their work. Some of it's forges, and they got blacksmiths making armor and all kinds of weapons. They save on metal by making their armor for the front only. Like they're not planning on retreating anymore. Oh, and they got these huge pits too. Bigger than I've ever seen. They pull the new orcs, maybe a hundred or so a day. Some of them are those Urukai. You can tell them right away, because they've got a head or so on other orcs. They come out fighting, and immediately start bossing everyone else around. No one's the wiser about me spying. But don't send no more clones. The other orcs might get suspicious. Well, even the orcs are not a fan of other orcs, it seems like. So, in the next episode of Mordor, Sh or Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor, we'll continue to uh, gather intel, information, artifacts, runes, and we'll do, I think we'll do a power play uh, eps, uh, bit, and then we'll take on the outcasts in the next episode. So thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.